name is Judah McLeod Campbell and I work as the Arts and Culture Coordinator with the City of Prince Albert. I'm the lead staff with the Municipal Cultural Action Plan, a plan for our city to encourage growth and unity and to connect and work together to maintain and grow our cultural assets for a strong and proud city. I'm honoured to work with the Knowledge Keepers on this Indigenous Naming Initiative to ensure our city's names are reflective of our Indigenous roots, shared history and Indigenous ways of life, giving and sharing. Prince Albert's River Street was the first location named under the city's Indigenous Naming Initiative. Signs were installed on River Street, translated in the city's six Indigenous languages, Plains Cree, Swampy Cree, Woodland Cree, Dakota, Dene, and Métis. We will now hear from the knowledge keepers that guided this project. They will translate the words and meaning of River Street in their languages. Uh, my name is Alan Adam, and my language is Dene. Uh, Alan Adam Bushi, Sia Kia Dene, Dene Kia Si. The meaning of River Street in Dene is road by the river. Um, and we pronounce it um, Desga Tulu. Desga Tulu. Talks, uh, talks about any area along the river in the city of PA. Sisuni Shipi, that's what the old people called it. And it encompasses not only the bank of the river, but also the street and even the building. So this whole area along the river was called Sisuni Shipi. Uh, my name is Joanna Mackay. I'm part of the Indigenous Knowledge Keepers. Uh, my family are from this region and Red River and York Factory back in the day. The Mich one of the Machif language spellings <laughs> and pronunciations for it for the name of River Street is Sipi Miskanao. So Sipi Miskanao. And, and, the and the name literally means, I mean, it's not really scientific or anything. It, what the name means is the path beside the river, basically. Well, my name is Leo Omani. I'm from Peking Dakota Nation. And the translation I'm providing for now is Wahpe Chanku, which means river road. The closest translation to saying River Street in our Dakota language. Although approximately 45% of our community identifies as Indigenous, we were only able to identify nine locations in Prince Albert with an Indigenous name. There's so much more that can be done, and this initiative has helped us to start that conversation and begin to reflect on the people, places, and names that are appropriate for Prince Albert. This is one small step towards reconciliation.